What up, everybody? It's Instructor Beats back again, talking today about adding decimals and also whole numbers as well. So this is our first video in our adding and subtracting decimals playlist. Hopefully you'll go through the whole playlist. But today the objective is uh, I will be able to add whole numbers and decimals by lining my place values up. So we're not just talking about being able to do it today, we we're talking about why we are lining our place values up and what is actually happening when we do that. So, um, conceptually when you're adding, right, so this is just kind of a basic equation um, that you might have done even in first or second grade. Your teacher was always probably saying, right, line up your digits, line up your digits, and so you had probably a few people who lined it up over that way, and they're like, no, you need to line up your place values, and you know, all of that stuff. But today we want to talk about, okay, not just that we're doing it, but why are we doing it? So conceptually, what is happening when we're adding? So I'm going to erase this, okay, and I'm going to write these numbers in expanded form, okay? So first I'm going to do 300 plus 50 plus 8, right? So that's that number in expanded form, and obviously a 6 is just worth a 6. So if you're not careful when you're lining up your digits, you might line up the wrong place values, right? And so if you do it this way, you can actually get the answer correct this way, but when you do the shortcut of just lining up your digits, it's not going to work. And so if you are lining up your 6 right here, you're not adding 3 plus 6, right? You're actually adding 300 plus 6 because that 3 is really worth 300. So when we're adding, we want to make sure we're lining up place values because that's going to make sure that we are adding the correct values of each digit together. So I want to take my 6 and I want to add it to my 8 because those are both in the 1's place, right? And so I'm going to do 8 plus 6 and I'm going to get 14. But I can't write 14 down here, right? And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going, so if I have 14, Okay, we know our place value system is based on 10. Well, the shortcut a lot of your teachers have been telling you is you leave the ten, you leave the ones place and carry the 10. And that's not incorrect, but that's not why you're doing it. It's not about the ones place and the tens place. That just happens to work because we're doing base 10 numbers. So let me erase what I just put right here, and I want to explain what's happening here. A long time ago, when whoever made the base 10 system. Um, realize that, well, we only have 10 fingers and maybe they were covering their toes and they didn't want to add, right? And so once they got past 10, they had to restart counting using their fingers. So when you are carrying or regrouping, you're not just taking, you are actually taking 10 out, right? So you're taking 10 ones out and you're giving it over here to the 50. And then your leftover would be four, right? And so now you have four left over, plus you regrouped your 10. So 10 plus 50 now is 60, plus you have your 300. So when you write this, right, your answer would be 364. Now, I know you could get that answer, but it's not about being able to get it today. It's about understanding why what you're doing is working. So if I take those numbers over here and I use the shortcut, which is just you line up your place values correctly, right? 8 plus 6 is 14, okay? And I'm carrying the 1 over here, but just like I showed you, it's not really a 1, it's a 10. And so that makes sense because I have a 1 over top of my 10's place. So yes, I am doing 1 plus 5 equals 6, but really what I'm doing is 10 plus 50 equals 60. So that's why you really got to make sure that you line up your place values correctly, right? And then obviously that would be 3. So it's perfectly okay to do the shortcut. You don't need to write your numbers in expanded form. But I want you to understand what's happening when you're regrouping, right? You got past 10, so you have to regroup your 10 over the next place value. That's what that 1 is. And then the leftovers go down here, so the 4 goes down there. So we decomposed 14 into 10 plus 4. We regrouped my 10 with my 50, just like we regrouped the 1 with the 5 right here. We add it together, and my answer is 364. So conceptually what is happening is you're not just lining your digits up. You're trying to line your place value up so that you can regroup properly. 
are steps for adding and subtracting, right? So we don't want to have to do that all the time where we are um, writing in expanded form. So our first step is we're going to line the place values up, okay? Then we don't have to do this, but if you need to, you can fill in place value holders. And so I'm going to go back to my slide, okay? And what that means is right here, if you wanted to, you could put zeros just if you like to have digits on top of each other, if you like it to be even. You don't have to do that because if you don't have anything, you don't have to put a zero, but a zero means you don't have anything. So back to step three, we want to take it one step at a time. We want to add the place values one step at a time, regrouping when we need to. And at the end, we want to uh, drop it like it's hot. And that is uh, part of the song. So hopefully you listen to our adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing decimal song after this. Um, so you can kind of see what we're talking about, right? So we want to line up the place values, fill in place value holders if you need to, take it one step at a time, and at the end, we want to drop it like it's hot, kind of like Snoop Dogg would say, right? Here's my, I have 43,508 and 8 thousandths plus 99 and 8 tenths. So I want to make sure that my first step is, right, I line my place values up. You can put your commas if you want. So I like to rewrite my number. Okay, I'm not going to do an expanded form. And then I'm going to add 99 and 8 tenths. Now, what might happen if you're not careful is you might just worry about lining your digits up here. But the problem is, even though you, your digits may be lined up, your place values are not lined up. Because this is the tens place, and you're trying to add it to the ones place. So you're trying to add 90 plus 8 right? And that doesn't work. So when we do this, we need to make sure that we line our place values up. Let me erase this. And the easiest way to do that is to make sure our decimals are lined up first. Because if our decimals are lined up, then we know our ones place will be lined up, our tens place will be lined up, and our tenths place would be lined up. And again, it's okay that not all the digits are lined up because the place values are lined up and that's what's important. You can put zeros here if you want to, to make it even, okay? But that's a big trap a lot of people fall in is they're trying to line their digits up from the right to make it look pretty, when really it's all about having your decimals lined up. So then your ones and your tens and your hundreds and your thousands and ten thousands are all lined up. And now we can add just like we have been since second grade from right to left. Eight thousands plus zero thousands is eight thousands. Zero hundreds plus zero hundreds is zero. 0 tenths plus 8 tenths is 8. And this is where we like to drop it like it's hot. We're going to drop this straight down and make sure we put our decimal. I'll show you why in a second. Now 8 plus 9 ones is 17 ones. So we need to regroup that 10 over next to my in my tens place. 1 10 plus 9 10 equals 10 tens, which means we need to regroup that one over here because 10 tens would be 100. 100 plus 500, right, is 600. 3,000 plus 0,000 is 3,000. We can put the comma there. And then 40,000 plus 0,000 is 43,000. So our answer is 43,607 and 808 thousandths. However, if we don't drop it like it's hot, then our number, right, so if I forget to put my decimal because I'm rushing, then what happened is my number became 43,607,808. So that's why I always say, and when I'm writing checks, I always check my decimal because there's a little bit difference between 43,607 and 43,607,808, right? So we always want to make sure we line our place values up by doing our decimal, drop it like it's hot, take it one step at a time. So, you go ahead and try this one, pause the video. I'm interested to see who's going to get tricked right here, and then push play and we'll go over it. So hopefully you just push play, um, and you've already tried this, and it's in your notes or wherever your teacher's making you do this. And so I have 34,567, and I want to add it to 478, and I want to add it to 478 in 5400. And so I see this decimal here, but you're saying, instruct the beats. Where's my decimal here? Well, even though the decimal, you might not be able to see it, it's always next to the ones place, right? I like to say you see the unseen. It's always next to the ones place. Now we can write the decimal 
and fill in our 8, our 7 in our tens place, our 4 in our hundreds place, our 54 hundredths, right? So even if it's a whole number, there is a decimal. It's always next to the ones place, and that's what you can use to line up your place values. Now, you can fill in place value holders if you need to. So 4, 5, drop it like it's ha ha. 15, I'm going to regroup, right? We talked about that. That's 14, I'm going to regroup. That's 10 when I regroup. Regroup again to my thousands. That's 5,000. That's 30,000. And so my answer is 35,000, 45, and 5,400. So hopefully you gained a little bit of understanding of why we line our place values up what's happening when we're regrouping, but more than anything, you know how to add whole numbers and decimals by lining up the place values. As always, please check us out at InstructaBeats YouTube channel. Please subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram at, at InstructaBeats. Please check out the um, our song about adding, subtracting, multiplying decimals. It will be this thumbnail right here, or it's somewhere up there. And as always, please subscribe. InstructaBeats, out!